Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to pass a video interview. If you have a video interview coming up, please do make sure you watch this from beginning to end because I'm going to give you a number of video interview questions and more importantly, unique top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. It is my aim to make you the standout candidate and to make you pass your video interview. And this is what I will cover during this presentation to achieve that goal. I will give you some great tips for passing your video or Skype interview. I will give you the common video interview questions and top scoring answers. I will tell you the qualities that you must demonstrate during your video interview. And I will also give you two questions to ask at the end of your video interview. So four great reasons why you should watch this from beginning to end and also take notes. Now, before I do that, a very warm welcome to this video interview training tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon, that's me there in the center, and I've been helping people for about 20 years now to pass their interviews, and I always do that by giving you top scoring answers that you can't find anywhere else. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video, and then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos I'm uploading. Please do make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you get alerted straight away when those videos are uploading. And I would also very much appreciate your support if you gave the video a like. That tells me you enjoy the content and I will therefore create more for you. Okay, let's get into those video interview questions and top scoring answers. So the first interview question you will get asked is this. Tell me about yourself. Now, my tip for answering this video interview question highly is we need to give the interviewer a short, punchy and confident answer that tells them straight away you are the perfect person for this job. And this is why they ask this video interview question. Tell me about yourself so they can get a feel of what you're like. And they will pretty much make their mind up in the early stages of the video interview if they want to hire you or not. So we need to give a brilliant answer. Here it is. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed today. I am hardworking, conscientious, professional and enthusiastic and I feel this position is a good match for my skill set, my qualities and the experience I already have. I believe one of my core strengths is my ability to fit in well with any team and also that I can learn things really quickly which means if I am fortunate enough to get hired I can make an immediate difference to your company. Now, having studied and read the job description, I think I'm a great match for the essential criteria you have listed. And if I am hired, I will need minimum supervision within the role. That is a brilliant answer to that question. Tell me about yourself. It is confident. And if you practice that a number of times, then you'll be able to give it off during that first video interview question, which will then serve the purpose of giving you more confidence for moving forward for the rest of the video interview. So the next video interview question I want you to prepare for is, why do you want to work for us? So my tip for answering this highly is, employers and hiring managers want to get to the bottom of why, they, why you want to work for their company. So in your answer, you should show the interviewer that you have considered carefully why you want to work for their company. And here's a great answer to this video interview question. Before applying for a job, I will spend time looking into the company to see if I can make a difference to their team and also if it is somewhere I would like to work long term. Having researched your organisation, I was hugely impressed with the quality products and services you offer and also your company values. If I get to work for you, I feel it will be somewhere I can make a big difference and also somewhere I will be able to learn and grow within the role. So you are showing there that you really have considered carefully why you want to work for their company. The majority of candidates during the video interview will not have even considered why they want to work for their company, but that is a really, really strong answer. So I still have some questions to go through, but when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right-hand corner of the video, you can download my full set of video interview questions and answers. It's via my website, passmyinterview.com, which I founded last year to help people pass their interviews. Let's move on to the next video interview question. Why do you want this job? Now, there really is only one way to answer this video interview question to score highly. You have to reference the job advert in your answer. So here is my suggested answer to the video interview question. Why do you want this job? 
I want this job for two reasons. Firstly, I read the job advert in detail and I believe the skills and qualities you need are an exact match for my experience. I want to work in a job where I can literally hit the ground running and start making a positive difference straight away. Now, the second reason is the stage I am now at in my life means I'm looking for a job long term. You are an attractive company to work for. And if I am successful during the video interview today, I plan to be with you for many years to come. What I like about that answer is you are giving two reasons why you want this job. Two really good valid reasons. Again, the majority of candidates will not have considered this interview question. They will think on the spot one reason why they want this job, but you have considered it carefully. The next video interview question we need to prepare for is, where do you see yourself in five years time? Again, there really is only one answer to this video interview question. If you give the interviewer a hint that you will probably move on quickly, you are less likely to get hired and get the job. Here is my suggested answer. I see myself still working for you at the same company, either in the same role working to a very high standard or even perhaps having gained advancement in a more senior level role. As I indicated earlier, I am at the stage in my life where I am looking for stable long-term employment with the same company. Now, being respected by my work colleagues and my supervisors is really important to me. So I would expect to be a fully trusted and reliable member of the organization within that time frame. Now, that is a great answer, again, to the interview question, where do you see yourself in five years' time? So at some stage during your video interview, they're going to say to you, OK, do you have any questions you would like to ask us? My advice is to ask just two questions. And these are those questions. What could I do in this role specifically to make a positive difference to your organization? That is a very clever question to ask because you are showing them that you really care. You want to come into this job and you want to make a difference. Now, they might say to you, all we want you to do is to provide brilliant service to our customers. All we want you to do is increase sales, something like that. So it shows that you care about making a difference to their organization. The next question is, what are the plans for the company over the next five to 10 years? And do you have any new and exciting products coming out? That tells me you are interested in my services and the products that I've got coming out. But it also tells me subtly that you're thinking of staying with me for a long period of time. And if I'm going to train you up in the role, then that is good for me because I want a positive return on my investment. After I train you up, I want you to stay there for a long period of time. Now, at the end of the interview, I want you to say this. So they get to the end. You finish the question to say, OK, I'd just like to say this. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to be interviewed for this position. I've really enjoyed the process. If I'm successful, I promise you I will work hard to make a positive difference to your team. That is the final thing you say at your video interview and they will be impressed. But that will be the last thing they remember you by. So when they're thinking about either inviting you along to a face to face interview or either hiring you on the spot, then that shows to me that you are polite, you are respectful, and more importantly, you have really good intentions. Now, please do download my video interview questions and answers guide. It's in PDF format. You can have it in your inbox within two minutes from now. Click that link in the top right-hand corner of the video or go to the website passmyinterview.com. I give you a guide which is literally loaded with tons of video interview questions and more importantly, high scoring answers. Hope you've enjoyed that. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you very much indeed. And I wish you all the best for passing your video interview. Have a brilliant day.